Doggy, where are we going today? Little Boy Resort up in uh, Longville. How far is that? About an hour. That's all you got to say? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Away we go. Going to Little Boy Resort, do some fishing and camping. I've never been there. It's about an hour drive from here. I hope they have a sticker. So in the last video, I said I'd see you on the road. So yeah, here we go. Got my fridge going. Got my wagon, my chair, all my stuff. You know, in case we get stranded, we have a place to live, right? Heck yeah. My little Furion, Furion, however you pronounce that, backup camera working. Ooh, I better move that hose. I go through a lot of hoses because I run them over all the time. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> It's true.
Here's the beach. Here's our camper. Yeah, for now. Beach, camper, camp is set up. And we got our barking dog. No cat. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Seasonal sites. Cabins. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I like this. This is a nice place. 
They got cabins, lakefront, beachfront, camping, a marina, a boat ramp. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, you know, it's hard to believe all of this stuff is just down the street from me. Actually, it's probably about a 45 minute to an hour drive, thereabouts. So you know I like my bike. I like my fishing, I like my bike, I like my camping. Let's go, heck yeah. There's the resort. You can kind of sort of see our camper through the trees there. Well, this camera won't pick it up. Here's a bridge that we crossed to get here. I did bring my little Walmart compact fishing pole with me. I always leave it on the bike for this very reason. Yeah. Ooh, there's some big fish in there. There's some big bass in there. I'm looking at them. Yeah. Let's see if we can sneak up on them from the road. Yeah, buddy. Whoa! I almost went in. Ah, shit. Every time we go camping, I always do the responsible adult grown-up thing. You know, it's kind of stressful being a grown-up, but you still have to do it, right? There's no stopping you. So you want to make sure that your truck, your camper, is roadworthy. <laughs> check your oil, check your yeah, transmission buddy. fluid, make sure you have plenty of air pressure in your tires, that sort of thing. And get to your location as safely as practically possible. And sometimes that's easy, and other times, well, it's a slow go. Another one. But I never get in a hurry. And I guess, you know, being retired, I'm kind of in a position to where I don't need to be. Now, having said that, once I get to the campground and I set up camp, you know, the adult, responsible, grown-up thing to do, I then revert to being a child. <laughs> Candy's on her own, right? I break out my bike, I break out my fishing pole, a lot of times they'll break out the kayak, things like that. You know, all you got to do is look at the children in the park, and that's how I act, right? I go swimming, I go kayak, and I go hiking. I take my bike ride, I take my fishing pole with me, and I go fishing in some of the most remote locations. That's why I always carry my Walmart fishing pole with me with a couple of jigs, because there is the possibility in some of these small little creeks, nice. some of these small little Red eye. ponds and lakes and stuff like that along the bike trail that you might just want to try your luck. Now, I, I just have to stop every place. I just do. I like to explore. I am like a child in that regard, and I think it's uh, kind of refresh. It refreshes me. It, it makes me forget about everything that's going on in this crazy world it's just nuts you know during my bike ride I was uh, riding down this one country road and there was a, a bridge an overpass on one of the smaller lakes you know uh, that separates with a bridge <laughs> anyway there was a family there fishing and there was this kid I don't know somewhere between 10 and 14 let's just say and he had his little fishing pole and he hooked a whopper I really hooked a whopper it was great and I was happy for him but it wasn't long that yeah I, I knew it would happen I mean let's face it he's fishing 10 feet up from the water you know it's just it's bound to happen so yeah his line broke and fish got away and he just started crying I felt so bad for him I just I really did you know, 
He was just so disappointed. And I, I don't blame him because, heck, I'm a grown ass man and I would have cried too. Hey, that fish got away. Anyway, it was uh, very relaxing. And sometimes reverting back to childhood and not really thinking about all that responsibility, you know, of adulthood is very refreshing. And this is why we do these trips as often as we can. So excited. So excited. Oh gosh. Look at wounds. <laughs> we can't untrain her that. She gets too excited. No more though. She's too wet already. Did she go completely in? <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to hold on to her, but yeah. She's underwater. She's so cute. It's weird how they can hold their breath. But there's a lot of snails in the areas here. Yeah. Nice landscaping. And I've decided you're gonna buy me lunch. I'm surprised you took the chainsaw off. Yeah, I was using it. That's why oh. I forgot to put it back in as all. Well. Oh, I put it. Go get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good girl, good girl, good girl. <laughs> Come on, sit, sit. She ain't gonna go too far. Come on, eat the baby. No, I said no. I'll try to get the Come on. I you go get him? Eat right the baby. What am I what am I sit, 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 sit. I'm at the general store. Candy's going in. She's going to order some food, which is something we never do, but she wants to treat herself. So I'm going to allow it. So bike riding seems pretty good around here. I just, it looks like it's going to pour rain. And I do not want to be out long ways away if it's going to be raining. I did that up at Black Bear Resort up in Ely. <laughs> it's no fun. So, yeah, I went on a little one and just plinked around some of the uh, bridges and a little bit of the shoreline around the area. It was fun. Oh, they got boat rentals, those little uh, Lunds, Tiller Drive. They, they're in great shape. They got a bunch of kayaks for rent, paddle boats, gas station right on hand. Like I said, their own ramp. And people are coming in with the fish. Yeah, buddy. Nice and cozy. Now you know why I try to get all my chores done because I don't have that hanging over my head right, when I get right. home. You're getting a salad with chicken and I'm getting a brisket sandwich. Oh, you really think you're something special, don't you? Oh, there's your dog. Yeah. Take your dog. That's my dog. That's for sure. I don't know how it happened, but my goodness. Oh. Okay.
On our way home, boys. This is the only downside of this trip is this road. It's a four mile long dirt road. It's a little washboarded. Not that, that bad, but we have to go slow because boy does it kick up the dust. And you can see there's a lot of residents on this road. And not a lot, you know, handful. Anyway, living on a dirt road myself, we respect the people's, uh, I don't know what to call it, right to have a dust-free home. <laughs> At least ways from, from the road, anyway. So, it was all in all, it was a very nice trip, very nice campground. I can see that it would be really hard to get a place, in fact, if not impossible, to get a place here on the weekend. So, once again, a great trip, nice new adventure, new sticker, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.